What's going on guys, my name is the Call of Duty Cinema 12 and today I'm bringing you guys an arms race gameplay on the map slums. In this gameplay I end up going 42-0, and 0, so it was a pretty good gameplay. I'm using the PDW Silenced with Fast Mags and uh, you guys will just have to see how it plays out. So anyways, uh, what I wanted to talk about in this video is Call of Duty Ghosts, what to expect, and uh, it's episode 2. Um, but before I get into that, I also wanted to, uh, to ask you guys if you know anyone who knows how to make an intro, because I've had a little trouble with that. Um, I'm not really sure how to make an intro anyways, and my sister, who's basically my graphics design person, she doesn't really know how to do it. So I was wondering if you guys knew anybody who could uh, make an intro for me, and if you did, tell them to private message me so we can work out a deal or something, because I'd be really appreciated of that, and I would love an intro. So uh, so anyways, let's get into what to expect from Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, they came out with the gameplay trailer with the Xbox reveal, and it wasn't really a gameplay trailer, it was more of a reveal trailer, but I honestly still thought it was awesome. Because this trailer, it looked really, really cool. Um, it basically kind of explained what the ghost group was. Where uh, they were a, um, a little group of soldiers that came together, like the SAS, the whatever. Uh, they all came together to fight um, one, one force, one common force that uh, ended up destroying America or whatever. And it's in the future, we know that. And I have to say, like, the new engine that uh, that runs on it, it looks amazing. Like, they compared it to Modern Warfare 3, so it was like a ghost comparison to the Modern Warfare 3. And oh my god, I have to say, this engine is beautiful. So, it just looks really, really good. And I'm, I'm pretty shocked about how how good it looks, because, like, they showed the um, the attack dogs, and then they compared it to the dogs from Modern Warfare 3, and it was just completely different because they uh, they um they took the attack dogs from ghosts and they actually replicated it from another dog, like a real life dog. So that was really really cool. And I'm excited for what the um the story has to bring, but I'm gonna talk about that later. So anyways, let's get into what uh what platforms Call of Duty Ghosts is gonna come on. Uh, I've heard that it will come out on the Xbox One, the PS4. The uh, the 360 and the PS3, so it's going to be on the the current generation consoles and the next gen consoles, which I think is is really really cool because they're going to be hitting a lot of the audience that can't really afford to get the new Xbox right when it launches because it's probably going to be really really expensive. Um, I honestly don't even know how much the new Xbox is going to be or the new PS4, so. Because of that, I can't really speculate and see how much it's going to be, but I'm expecting it to be really, really expensive because of when the PS3 dropped, it was around $300 to $400, I, I think. I don't know, I don't really remember it too much. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was 300 to 400 So the next-gen consoles will probably be really expensive, like probably even more than that. So... I think it's really smart that they're bringing it on the next gen consoles and the current gen because they're going to be getting a lot more sales and everything and uh, it should be really really cool. So anyways moving on, uh, with the ghost character, I think it was confirmed that he was in, uh, he is in Call of Duty Ghost because he, he isn't alive technically, um, I think he returns in flashback missions because there's a Wikipedia. Uh, post not well a Wikipedia update on the guy that does the voice acting for Ghost's character in, uh, in Modern Warfare 2 and in his profile it showed uh, Simon Ghost Riley at returning in Ghosts as a flashback so I I guess Ghost will be in the story but it's mostly going to be in the flashback mission so, you know, that's still cool. I love Ghost. I'm glad that he is going to be implemented in the game. I just wish he was still alive. So, I don't know, maybe he still will be, and there's going to be like a... At the end, Ghost will come back or something, but I don't know. I still think it'll be really, really cool. So, anyways, moving on. With Infinity Ward, because um, Call of Duty Ghost is a completely 
new game. They've taken a step forward from Modern Warfare series. It's a completely new series within the Call of Duty franchise, and we haven't had that since Call of Duty Black Ops, and that was even three years ago. So, for Call of Duty to be making a new franchise, a new series, um, that is really, really, really cool, because the last time Infinity War did this, it was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1. That game was amazing, that game was epic, and we loved it. So I have really high expectations for Call of Duty Ghosts, because I think it will be amazing like Call of Duty 4. And then, because they want to get good, good sales on the next generation consoles, I think that they're going to make it the best Call of Duty possible, they're going to put all their time and effort into it. And I think it's going to be really, really neat. So, so far, it looks really good. Um, the graphics look amazing. And with the story, um, I'll probably cover that in the next video because I'm kind of running out of time. But it looks really, really good. And uh, so, yeah. I'll cover the story and multiplayer in Episode 3. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy this. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe for more. Um, for your thoughts on Call of Duty Ghosts, please leave a comment in the description below, or in the comment section, and have a good day. As always, YouTube, peace.